So I'm gonna throw in my two pennies on this James Charles and Tati uh, Westbrook drama. Not because anybody asked me to, <laughs> just because there's, there's a couple aspects of it that I really feel like people are missing. Now, if you don't know about the whole James Charles and Tati Westbrook drama, Google it. <laughs> Go to any social media platform, it's probably still uh, trending. Twitter, it, it's probably still trending. Anyway, first to begin, James Charles is, I think, 19, which sets this whole thing up from the beginning. Like, it, it sets up the whole narrative of this drama. He's 19. Tati Westbrook, not sure how old she is, but probably older than 30, okay? Probably older than 30. So the gist of it, and I am paraphrasing, <laughs> Mina phrasing, that's what it is, I'm Mina phrasing. So from what I gathered, um, Tati put James on, uh, and he, uh, from her putting him on, he developed this massive social media following, okay? And, uh, came into his own right. Now, uh, I guess they had a, had an understanding that he would support her, uh, in all or most things, and, uh, an opportunity presented itself to him. Uh, he said he wouldn't take the opportunity, but um, ultimately he did. You know, he apologized to her, but he was like, hey, you know, I had this opportunity and I took it. You know, I'm sorry, doesn't mean that I don't love you, just means that I took this opportunity. In my opinion, James was being 19. <laughs> James was being 19, people. Now, Tati made this uh, video or movie, <laughs> it was like, 40 something minutes long blasting James about you know oh I basically I thought we were better than this and uh, then you go and do this to me I feel betrayed and uh, in response James made like a little movie trailer snippet little 10 12 minute video basically saying he was sorry he didn't know it would affect her like that and he apologized now because of the movie that Tati made he lost millions and millions of followers like i've never seen the count go that fast for people who jumped off the james charles bandwagon okay once again people he's 19 think about what you were doing and who you were when you were 19 could you be trusted <laughs> were you always truthful did you always do the right thing were you chasing paper I think back to when I was 19 and the fact that my mama still don't know half of the stuff I did when I was 19. So I feel like we, as uh, patrons of social media, we're holding these people to a standard that's unrealistic. Just because uh, we see them on uh, social media all the time and they're millionaires and they live this glamorous life and we think that they're older or more mature than they are they're still just people and a lot of times they're still just kids so i, I don't get it I, I don't get it she was the adult in this situation that's basically like putting all your eggs in the same cart and then praying that you don't have an accident and don't get me wrong he, he probably was wrong for you know taking this deal and breaking their trust or pact or whatever it was they had he probably was but at the end of the day he's 19 i know a lot of 19 year olds and they don't make the best decisions they don't and at that age you're supposed to make mistakes to learn and grow so when you get older you don't make those same mistakes I'm not saying that this killed his career because, you know, publicity is publicity, good or bad. So was it staged? I don't know. Was everything 100% factual? I don't know. I just go on what I read. And I'm not even in that, you know, side of social media. Like the beauty community, as you can see, <laughs> I don't do much makeup. I don't watch many tutorials. I just think that at the end of the day, we should all remember and understand that he's a kid. He's a kid with a very large platform, but at the end of the day, he's a kid. Okay, maybe I shouldn't say kid. Maybe I should say uh, young adult. You've not yet experienced enough life to make truly informed decisions. You don't understand fully yet what burning bridges will actually do. So I apologize for calling him a kid, I do. 
but he's a young adult, a young man who still needs to experience life enough to know that actions have consequences.